One simple, relatively inexpensive thing you can do is add window tint. Yeah, and it's actually growing in popularity for home and office windows as well because tinting is more than just about the way it looks. Check it out. Back when I was young, uh, we all tried to tint our own vehicles at some point, and for some reason it stuck with me. Um, it was kind of a side hobby, I guess, uh, until I moved to Mankato, and then there was a real call for it and uh, it's, business has been great ever since. So we're gonna pull up a 2023 Honda Ridgeline. Uh, today we're gonna be cutting the uh, driver's side roll-up window. This fancy little machine here is gonna cut that all out for me. A lot of cars, we do homes, uh, businesses, so a lot of commercial and residential. Then we take it to the peel board. have to weed this out so we can pull our pattern out of here. Before we can install that, um, basically all vehicles have curved glass nowadays, so we have to heat form it. And a lot of guys will shrink them on the car. Um, I like to do it here because it prevents a bunch of water streaks down their car. So what I'm doing is just creating tension on that bottom edge. There's a uh, there's a lot of different shades. There's a lot of different um, types of film, um, both for you know residential, commercial, and cars. Um, it just depends what the customer's looking for. 25 years ago, yeah, it was definitely for looks. Everybody wanted the cool car uh, with the dark tinted windows, um, but like everything, films have advanced so much. Um, so we can actually control a ton of heat and 99% uh, UV protection. So faded headrests, cracked dashboards, that type of thing. Um, especially, you know, price of vehicles aren't going down these days, so everybody wants to protect them as much as you can, and window tint is a great way to do that. So now we have to clean the window here, and this is probably one of the most important steps because you get one chance. <laughs> Each state is different. Um, they all have their own laws as far as how dark you can go. We have some display boards set up in there. Uh, specifically, you know, here's what's legal in Minnesota, um, but it varies car to car too. Um, you know, trucks and SUVs, you can you can make them as dark as you want in the rear half, um, as long as it's a multi-purpose vehicle. Passenger cars uh, have to be 50%. With that said, there are there are a lot of medical exemptions that one can get, um, and that that changes things. We don't want bubbles, and we don't want dust. <laughs> the tint. So now what we're going to do is um, we're going to get all that solution squeegeed out from between the film and the glass. Most of them are going to start out at about $129.99 plus tax. Um, that's for a set of front windows, um, which is a pretty common thing. A um, lot of, you know, I always say we're in truck and SUV country. Um, so everybody wants, you know, they want tint on the front windows because the rear already has it. Back to the trucks again. Um, you know, a set of front windows is usually about 30 to 40 minutes in and out, so fairly quick, yep. Um, cars, larger SUVs, they might take two and a half, three hours start. And Shades of Grey Tent is located at 205 Parkway Avenue in Eagle Lake.